Now let's move on to the world of automobiles and in that world, if you're planning to buy a new car after a lot of years, well, you'll find that there are a lot more features that you need to first understand. And in order to help you get a hold of what those features mean and help you make a better decision, well, up next, I'm going to be explaining the things that you need to know. Now, if you're planning to buy a new car, well, the number of features that a car gets is really important more than ever before. And as a result, today's cars are packed to the brim with features. Now, when we review all the new cars that are launched in the Indian market, we have to cover a lot of things. We have to talk about the driving dynamics, the engine response, the drivetrain options, the exterior design highlights, the price, the competitors. It's an exhaustive coverage. We try to do our best. But in that process, we often just mention the features that a car is getting. However, today, I want to take a step back and tell you about what those features exactly are. So if you're in the market looking for a new car after, say, a period of 8 to 10 years, you should know what these features mean on the brochure list. And we're going to do that with this car right here. This is the MG Hector, which pretty much is one of the most feature-packed SUVs in the market. And we're going to explain to you what those features are that you will get in a new car that you buy today. Now in this video, we won't talk about uh, the exterior features that newer cars get because that can vary dramatically based on the budget that you have and also based on the variant that you're buying of the car. So instead, let's talk about some of the interior features first. The first thing that you will see once you step inside a new modern car is that the steering wheel now has a lot more buttons than ever before. And behind it is what you call a digital instrument cluster. Now that you also see even in cars like the Nissan Magnite these days, just for example. Now, what are these things? Let's take it step by step. First, let's talk about the digital instrument cluster. What that is, is basically it has replaced the analog dials that you would have in older cars, which usually used to be two. One would tell you the engine RPM, the other would tell you the speed at which your car is traveling. And now that has been replaced with a screen. As a result, you get a lot more colors to play with. You get different fonts and you can also toggle through the menu that you see on that screen which will tell you pretty much everything that you need to know about the car and not just the fuel level and the trip meters that you would see in older cars. Now, how is all of that toggled and operated? Well, that happens through these buttons on the steering wheel. Now, steering wheel buttons also will often include the cruise control buttons, which will help you activate the cruise control, deactivate it, and also set the speed at which you want the cruise control at. The other half of the steering wheel will usually give you audio and infotainment controls, which you can control all the data that you see on the screens in front of you. Now you might have noticed that I mentioned screens because of course now you have two screens in front of you. And now we're gonna talk about the other screen, which is the infotainment system. Now today, almost all infotainment systems are digital infotainment systems. And what that basically means is that you have a touch screen unit in front of you. So you can basically toggle around everything on the screen using your touch input. Now, in a car like the MG Hector, the infotainment system is not only meant to adjust, say, the volume of a song that you're listening to, but it will also pretty much control all the features that you have on the car. Now, of course, since this is a touch screen, every automaker will come up with their own design, their own animations, their own icons in order to give you an appealing look so that not only do you get all the information at one glance, but also so that it makes the car a little bit jazzy. Now let me show you something cool. Hello MG. Hi, how can I help? Open sunroof. You see what just happened? Well, the modern infotainment systems also support voice commands. Now, usually you can do that either by a term, like I just said, which activates uh, the voice command system and it hears what you are about to say, or you have a dedicated button again on the steering wheel, which lets you activate these features. Now, also in modern day infotainment systems, automakers are optimizing 
their voice command system to understand different Indian languages. And also, if you're wanting to speak English, they will also support the Indian accent of the English that you're speaking and hence make it much more practical and usable in everyday situations. Now, what I want to talk about is perhaps one of the most important things in today's day and age, which is our smartphones. Aren't we all so dependent on it? But nevertheless, in today's modern cars, you don't really have to just chuck it aside. You can actually do a lot of things from your phones because the cars themselves are now connected to the internet as well. They have ease in connectivity like the MG Hector here. And as a result, you can see on the infotainment system, you have its own network coming. So the car is having its own internet connection. And as a result, it can have a lot of data transferred to the internet and you can access that by downloading an app on your phone which will give you everything you need to know about the car and of course now that we've done talking about the internet connectivity and the screens and the safety tech let's talk about some of the comfort and convenience features that you get in modern cars first and foremost are electric seats now they are coming in more and more cars by the month and what that basically is that you have a set of buttons where you would usually have the lever that you would pull in order to adjust the upper half of the seat and adjust the recline angle and another pull lever that you would have here at the bottom that you would uh, pull up and adjust the seat front and back that entire mechanism is replaced by electric buttons now using those buttons you can actually adjust the seat just by toggling those switches and that makes your life easier because not only does that require less of effort than before but it also lets you adjust the seat far more efficiently and better than ever before now moving on to the next feature that will have to be the electric boot lid now the mg actor has that and there's a small button here in front when i press it boot lid will open electrically all the way and of course there's a fail safe mechanism too so if it senses that there is a person or an object in its path it will stop and like just go back in the direction that it was coming from and not only does it open if i press the button over here again a couple of beeps and the boot lid is closing electrically as well now the next feature i want to talk about is the modern key now you don't have that metal thingy coming out uh, these things will actually enable you to enter the car keylessly because now there is a small button outside uh, the door handle if you have the key in your pocket also and if you press that button the car will unlock and you can sit inside now once you're inside the car you don't really have to plug the key anywhere it can still remain in your pocket you have a push button start and when you press that button the car will just start it will sense that the key is on the driver because it has a proximity sensor which senses the keys on you so the car will start and once you're done with it again press the button the car will uh, shut down and then you can just step off and in a car like the mg hector you also have walk away lock so what that basically means is that you keep the key in your pocket you just walk away from the car and the car will sense that the key is not in its proximity anymore and as a result will just lock it itself down isn't that cool now last couple of things that i quickly want to talk about is a wireless charger what that is is that basically you have a area designated where you keep your phone now remember your phone has to support wireless charging for it to actually make use of that feature if that supports just pop in your phone to that slot and it will start charging now the other thing modern cars come with air purifiers that are inbuilt inside the car as well and if you're someone like me who lives in a city like delhi that is extremely helpful so there you have it these are some of the features that you will come across when buying a new car today and now you know what that means hopefully this helps you make a better informed choice Thank you.